Hi, I'm Katrina. And I'm Belinda. Welcome to Crumbs 13, the prayer edition. Yeah. So we're just going to dive right into prayer. Mm -hmm. um, who's leading? I can lead this week. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, Father, you are just so good. Lord, we just praise you for this day. We praise you and just stand in awe of all the beauty around us, Lord. I just ask right now in Jesus' name that every person listening to this prayer, Lord, that they would see the beauty in every single part of their day and that in that beauty, Lord, they would see you, Father. Father, open our eyes on this day, Lord, to just um, the things that you need us to see, Father. Expose anything that needs to be exposed and help our hearts to be fully surrendered to your will. Father, I just ask that as we surrender our hearts right now in this moment, Lord, that we would just hear your voice resounding loudly within us, Lord. Father, may we be a fountain of your Holy Spirit overflowing onto each person that we encounter today. Lord, may our mouths be surrendered to you. May our tongues just be a weapon that you use for your kingdom glory. Yeah. Father, we just surrender our mouths, our tongues, Lord, and we just ask, Lord, that your um, your blood would just wash over our mouths and wash our mouths clean, Lord. We just repent for things that we've spoken out that have been word curses against us or those that we love or those in our sphere of influence. Father, forgive us, Lord, and we break those in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, may our tongues be used to just wage war against who the real enemy is, and that is Satan, Lord. May our tongues be a weapon used for your good, for your fame, and for your glory in Jesus' name. Oh, yes. Father, I just come into complete agreement. Father, I just praise you and I thank you. I thank you, Lord, that um, we get to breathe, Lord, mm -hmm. that we get to just breathe you in, Lord. And Lord, that we get to taste and see how good you are, Lord, that we can eat of your word, drink of your word, Lord, and that it is it restores our soul and feeds our soul, and it is good to us, Lord. Father, I just praise you and I thank you, Lord. I just speak over all those in leadership, over our youth, over our churches, over our country, all of those in leadership, Lord. I pray over the mouth of those who lead, Lord. I pray for obedience. I pray for eyes to see with unskilled eyes and ears to hear your voice with unplugged ears. Lord, I pray that they would lead in conviction of the Holy Spirit, Lord, that they would lead in being convicted of you, knowing that they will be accounted for and hold account to every word that they speak in the direction in which they lead, Lord. I just praise you and I thank you, Lord, that you are going to do so much. And Lord, just as the rain comes down and nurtures the ground, Lord, let your word come into us and nurture that which is planted within us, growing it up to be fruitful for your kingdom and for your glory. Father, we just give you glory, honor, and praise for everything that you're doing and trusting in you, knowing that you lead the way, knowing that you have prepared a way, and knowing that you've more than got it, Lord, and you've got us. So we give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Oh, if there's anything that we can be praying for, for you specifically, please comment below and just know that um, the Father loves you. He is with you. He will never forsake you. Yes, and with that, we can't wait to meet you at his table. God bless you.